I've decided to make a series of um, videos where we're going to be doing some IFS to work with a particular part and then also some EFT. So if you've got any requests for parts that you want me to make a video on, let me know. We're starting off the series with a session on the peacemaker part. Now, the reason I'm starting here is because that is the one that was very that is very familiar to me and was a really fundamental part for me to fully recover my health from chronic fatigue was to realize that I had this massive tendency to want to keep the peace at all costs, even to my health. And learning about the Enneagram, the Enneagram type nine, which I believe I am, was really, really instrumentally important in this process as well. So I'm going to invite you, uh, if you relate to this part, to, and if you don't, go look at one of my other videos or make a request for uh, another part um, to work with. Um, so I invite you to connect into the part of you that wants to keep the peace and perhaps even wants to keep the peace at all costs, even to your health, you know, doesn't want to ever have conflict, basically. See if you can feel in your body mind system where you notice this part of you. And you might not label it your peacemaker, you might label it something else. If you want to label it at all, there's no pressure. And connecting in to that part of you, where do you feel it in your body, my system? Perhaps how old is it? What are the sensations that are here with this part of you? The feelings, the beliefs? And how do you feel towards this part of you? See if you can relate to it with care and kindness and compassion. Perhaps take a moment to listen to this part of you. What does it want to show or tell you today? And how would you now, from your loving self, from your heart, respond to this part of you? You might offer this part of you a hug. You might see if it's available to receive a new message. And if you're happy to do so now, we'll just do some tapping with this part. So even though I have this part of me that wants to keep the peace, and you can repeat the words that work for you and ignore the rest and add in new words. This part of me that wants to keep the peace at all costs, even to my health, even to my energy, to my vitality, to my truth. I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have a part of me that wants to keep the peace at all costs, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have a part of me that really struggles with conflict, I can avoid talking about something I need to talk about with somebody for days on end or even forever. I love and accept myself anyway, and I'm okay. I'm doing my best. This part's just trying to protect me, trying to keep me safe. And it's there for good reason. At the time it was created, it was really important. It felt really important to keep the peace, really necessary. But I really honour this part of me. And I love and accept myself anyway. This part of me that wants to keep the peace, keep the peace at all costs. Doesn't want to deal with any situation with conflict. There might where there might be conflict. Doesn't want to speak my truth. Is scared of speaking my truth. Perhaps is scared of somebody else's anger. It might be where it comes from. It could be where it comes from. Part of me wanting to keep the peace at all costs. Doesn't want to express anything where there could be conflict wants to avoid conflict. It's part of me that wants to keep the peace at all costs. It's part of me that wants to keep the peace at all costs. It's part of me that wants to keep the peace at all costs. I feel this part of me as a, and you might say how old you are when you first felt this, or just as a younger me. 
It's part of me. Came into being for good reason. I acknowledge that and I honor her. And if you could update this part with a new message from your mature adult loving self, what would you say to this part of you? You might say, I acknowledge why you're here. I see you. And I'm sorry back then it didn't feel safe for you to speak your truth. You developed this role for a good reason at the time. And I want you to know it's safe now. And I've got this. It's safe for me to speak my truth as an adult. The people I love in my life are the people that matter to me. It's impossible to always keep the peace. Part of the human experience to have conflict sometimes, and that's okay. I'm doing my best to communicate in a skillful way, in a loving way, and yet in a truthful way, in a real way, in an authentic way. And you can feel into if any of that resonates or finding your own words that work for you. Work for your part as well. You also check in with the part, how it was hearing that. The part needs anything else, needs to say anything else, needs to hear anything else. You might tap around. You should connect in and work with this part of you. And just taking a moment to take some conscious breaths. That's one hand on heart, one hand on belly. Seeing if the part of you, this peacemaker part, needs anything else right now. You might have a sense of taking this part of you into a safe space, such as your heart space, your room space, or somewhere else that feels right. And thanking any other parts of you that, that you work with this part today as well. Okay, so thank you for watching today. If you want more of my work, it's my website, franciswiddle.com and also women's wellness circle.com.